For some, it's the summer of love. For some, it's the summer of Stranger Things. And for others, it's the summer of building out your Switch library. And that's what we're talking about today because there's some really good physical sales. If you want to expand your collection, build out those boxes, fill out those shelves, and use this summer for something. Zach, you know that you and I both lament the fact that we don't have as many physical games as we want. A lot we of the games, were, yeah, a lot of the games we're going to talk about, we already have digital, but I wouldn't be surprised if you go pick up a couple of these little physical versions because they're so cheap and the games are so quality and maybe you want to take them with you. One of the saddest things, I just want to throw this out there. We went to E3 recently, Zach. I, I took my Switch in my case and you know how this, the case has the little cartridge holders? You don't no, have enough cartridges. No cartridges. No, not even enough. There's no cartridges oh, in them. Oh, none. Oh, man. Ugh. How are you going to lick them if you don't have them? Anyways, let's get into some of these deals. Let us know if you're interested in picking up any of these games to beef up your physical library this summer. A summer of Switch, a summer of fun. We're going to start with Sushi Striker, Way of the Sushido, which is a Gabe joint. It's $9.97 at GameStop. This game previously was recommendable because of its quality. Its price was a little bit daring. Now, though, $9.97 and you get the physical version? Dude, that Pretty is freaking sweet. so, so cheap for a game yeah. that is of quality. Yes, the gameplay maybe isn't the most traditional. You're mixing and matching plates in order to defeat your enemy. The battle mechanics are like kind of awesome. The animation, they have a little anime cutscenes. Super, super cool. I think it is a unique game. There isn't a lot like this on the platform. For $10, you can't go wrong. You can get a bunch of hours out of it. Dude, I wish I would have waited until this was $10 to get a physical because... You hey, would have had a, physical yeah, sushi, so. physical sushi is better than digital sushi. I'll have you know. That's, that is accurate. And I think $10 for a quality Switch game is like hard to pass up. I mean, we see a lot of discounts, a lot of deals. Things go down to 50 pretty quick, 40 even sometimes, but 10? And I want to say, this is one of the ones that I saw a lot of people say, hey, I'm going to wait for a price drop. I'm going to wait for a price yeah. drop. The price is, it. it's not dropping any much more than this. So no, 9.97 is pretty low, but. The next game is probably what I feel the most perfect summer game on this list. To me, this is one that you dive into, you dig deep, and you complete during your summer. World Ends With You, $19.97 at both GameStop and Amazon. That is an awesome price for an awesome game. Yes, it is a DS port, but it is an awesome, unique game, and it provides incredible gameplay variety for a completely atypical JRPG. Yeah, JRPGs have found a very good home on Nintendo Switch. Perfect for playing on the go. This game was always designed to be played on the go. This is one of those like strange ones that you can only play on the go on Switch. It doesn't really <laughs> let you play dock. So yeah, the price when it originally like came out on Switch was like sort of agreed just because the game was like so old and right. there wasn't a lot changed. But for this, you can get that cartridge with you, Zach. The world will not end when you don't have internet because you'll have your cartridge. Get it? Because the world ends. Ah, oh man. It's a good one. I, I really love this game back on Nintendo's handheld, so I, it's, it just seems like a perfect fit, and it's a cartridge. Uh, another good cartridge to grab that has seen frequent sales, but in a physical form, I don't know that it's been this low. Mega Man 11 is $14.97 at GameStop, and Mega Man 11 is awesome. Yes, it's continuing Mega Man, it's more of that, but it is really a great return to form. Uh, for the genre. The, the franchise has always been great, but there's been some missteps of similar type games and talking <laughs> about Mighty Number no. 9. Um, but, and, and thank goodness Bloodstain has sort of rectified that disaster. But Mega Man 11 is really awesome. 15 bucks to you grab the cartridge. You're going to get your money's worth for sure. Yeah, the gear system um, offered like something that maybe everybody didn't like, but it was innovative for the Mega Man franchise because they don't traditionally change a whole lot. Yeah, you have some new mm -hmm. Robot Master, some new like story stuff, and the levels are going to obviously be all new. But as far as gameplay, Mega Man has stayed tried and true for a very long time, and this changed it up quite a yeah. bit. It's difficult, hard. Yeah, difficult, but not too difficult. I love this game. And what, you thought it was too difficult? I don't know. I'm, I'm like a one boss, a, a plane flight type boy over here. No, it's, I, it's hard. Well, I, I beat the game multiple times. So so for me, I, I think it's totally doable and you're not going to find it for lower than this at physical. So yeah, jump on this one too. Platforming difficulty or I guess, you know, just game difficulty in general is so funny to me because like I, Mega Man is so much easier for you, but then like Mario Maker I, is so I'm much harder for you. I'm terrible <laughs> at Mario. I can't, Mario, That's I really can't funny. get, yeah, Mega Man, I'm all for them. Yeah. All right. Next up is a really, it's an award winner. This is uh, Switch Forces 2017 most excited most hyped game of 2018 <laughs> award winner no more heroes travis strikes again is 1997 um. at game seven amazon yes yes this game is not great but with the recent announcement of no more heroes 3 at e3 if you want to dabble in the franchise a bit it's very different but if you want to just experience some of that pseudo action if you've played one and two and we're waiting on this one i think it is a decent time for 20 dollars 
look, you're not gonna get the traditional gameplay you want, but you do get the traditional like style and the traditional comedy that comes with these games. Travis is very Travis-like in this mm. game. There's still toilet action. There's still thrusting action. There, there's all oh, types of stuff. I do all like- All the important actions. Yeah, I, I do like the mix up in genre too, from, from the mini games to the mini games. Um, you know, it being top down, it, it wasn't what we wanted, obviously, but if you do no. have a friend, you can play co-op. That That's yeah. really, really cool. So I think the package is good. And like you said, we haven't had a No More Heroes game in, in some time. Yes, we're going to get right. No More Heroes 3. So to get primed and ready, add this one to your library. I want to be Batman. You could be Travis. I don't care. Another summer fun one is Octopath Traveler, which is currently $44.99 at Amazon. This is a big JRPG with a little bit of pizzazz. And it seems like a really good game for these months because you can dig in, pick the characters that you want to explore, go full tilt, grab the rest of the party, and then enjoy some elegant JRPG action with a beautiful art style, nice music, and very traditional combat. One that we don't see go on sale very often, so when it does, we like to highlight it around here. One of the amazing things about this game, Zach, and some people maybe don't think it's amazing, it's the fact that it is the complete game. From the very beginning, they said, we're never gonna add DLC or anything like that. This is just the game. Mm. We made a complete it's a game, That's a nice point. and we're selling it to you. So yeah. if you wanna support traditional gaming in that way, not just with the controls and the visuals, Zach, even though I think the visuals in this are quite beautiful, the fact that they sold a complete game, you don't gotta wait for DLC or any fixes or anything. They finished it, they put it out right. there, and I think that should be applauded. So yeah, it doesn't go on sale, and yes, it's not the cheapest, but no. you're still gonna get a ton of hours out of it. So I think you should grab it. And at some point, it'll get a sequel, so you're prepping yourself for the future. Uh, speaking of the future, maybe one day we will take over, but for now, we'll pretend in Civilization VI, which is $29.99 at GameStop. We've seen similar prices elsewhere, so you know you may find it in another store for this price, but GameStop has it for sure. Um, it is 2Ks, like, ooh, the Switch is cool game. <laughs> Haven't done a whole lot since... But the, switch is, the switch is cool. The switch is it, cool. It, it transitioned to, to switch very nicely. It's a good port. And if you have any interest in these sort of massive games, it's it's probably a really good price to invest in. I remember having like Civilization 3 like on a very old crummy laptop that couldn't really do much except play Civilization and browse Goodness the internet. Goodness gracious. Yeah, and it was, a long like, time ago. it was like on the lowest settings. Try, trying to get those like multiple types of victories was something I always found a lot of fun in. And now you can take it with you on the go on the Switch for a decent price. We don't see it go a lot lower than this in price either no. because it is something that performs well. So they, they want to keep their price up there. But if you've been waiting, good price. Yeah, and, and it's so it's, it's an interesting franchise. It's one that I've wanted to get into many times, and I just find the time commitment to be too much mm -hmm. for me. Uh, that's why I'm more of like a, more Mega Man than, than Civ. Um, one more game for you. Uh, this one is DLC, but it's physical DLC in the form of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Torna the Golden Country. It's only $29.97 at GameStop, but it's still a discount, and it's one that I feel a lot of people have missed. It's a Switch game that I think gets at least in, in our circle, forgotten as, as like a big release based on when it came out and based on that it is an expansion that you would assume just be like on the eShop, but no, it's it's beefy enough and big enough to kind of stand on its own. Yeah, it 100% stands on its own. I haven't spent as much time with this one as I would have liked, so I don't yeah. know. May, may, maybe a trip to GameStop is in the future for me. Not the biggest of discounts, but... 10 bucks off. Yeah, the thing is with... three. 10 yeah. two. Okay. The thing with these JRPGs is that even though the discount isn't like super steep, you know you're going to get your time's worth out of it. And yeah. It, yeah, it, yeah. it takes place in the same universe. Like, you know, long ago, you, you get to see like origins of, of certain stuff in the original Xenoblade Chronicles. So if you enjoyed that and you kind of forgot that this happened, perfect time to grab it. Zach, do you have this at all? And could you see yourself maybe picking it up one day so that you can take it with you on the go and have yourself a little adventure? My question is, if I've never played more than 10 minutes of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, am I okay to enjoy yeah. this? Yes, play it. In you that case, then yeah, then, then it is a bit smaller. It is mm -hmm. cheaper. Uh, well, like based on when I could have first bought Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Anyhow, it seems like something that I could get into. But what I want to know is after these sales, Gabe, which is your number one recommended sale? Not for you, but for the people out there. I'm gonna say Mega Man. It is so okay. it is so cheap. The yeah. game is so good. I think that it didn't fly under the radar because I think it still no. got like some positive word of mouth, but I don't know if it had the impact that like Mega Man like 10 had because when really? that, yeah, when that happened, like people were like super, super, super into it. And I didn't feel like that happened with 11. And I, I, think I wonder if it's because there were so many Mega Man's released on Switch in such like a short period of time, like the X collection and the regular Legacy collection and then 11. And so they kind of all grouped together and you kind of forget that, no, this was like a brand new game that they tried to bring out and change it up. 
Yes, and, and I appreciate the changes. They might not be for everybody, but they really hit the right marks with me. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna say Mega Man. Twisting is fun sometimes, twist it up. Uh, I tipped my hand earlier, but it's gonna be World Ends With You. I think that's a really cool, unique game. Um, the little like pin badge system and the way that you can modify your character, those RPG battles are super awesome. 20 bucks seems like a great price for that. You know, obviously it's been out before. If you played it, don't worry. But if you haven't played it, if it wasn't something you were into back on the DS, then this one, I think, even if you don't like JRPGs, like it's just a very cool, it's a cool game. It's got like so much style and flair and, and it's fun too. So that's my pick. Let us know in the comments down below what your picks are. Are you grabbing any of these games? Do you like the physical sales? Are you building your Switch library this summer? We're gonna try to. I look at my shelf over there and I say, goodness gracious, it started out so well. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. One, two, switch. How funny is it that our shelves are in the same, of same spot? You're looking over there for your shelf, and I'm looking right back here for my shelf. And too. then from there, it's become a digital world, and I'm ready. Digimon? To... No, not yet. That's coming out later this year. We'll get to that soon. Until that time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Turn on your notification bell, uh, because the cows aren't mooing very often anymore. And then, and, and you got to have the bell to hear where they're at, aka where our videos are at. So turn that on if you want to find out more from us. We'll be back soon. Until then, thanks so much, everybody. Fantastic day for myself and Gabe. Switch Force out.